There's magic in the Indian in the cupboard. You are so real. With this exclusive limited time offer, which is not available anywhere else, you can take hold of the magic with these Indian in the cupboard hand-painted collectibles. Get him, boys! Get Cowboy Boone for only $2.49. The boys call me Boo-Hoo Boone. Boone's horse is only $3.49. Whoa! Tommy the Medic is $249. How? And Little Bear. How? Is also $249. Yo, hey, hey, got your way. And the magical key is only 99 cents. <laughs> Buy the collectibles you want, or better yet, purchase the entire set. We're supposed to be a team. For the very special price of $7.95. That's a $4 savings. So order now while supplies last. Hold on to the magic with the Indian in the Cupboard collectibles. He's so cool. Send check or money order, including shipping and handling, to Indian in the Cupboard Offer, promotion number 616006, post office box 3383, Maple Plain, Minnesota, 555923383. In this review, I'll be taking a look at the mail-away figures from one of my favorite childhood movies, The Indian in the Cupboard. For those of you who might not be familiar with The Indian in the Cupboard movie, it is a 1995 family fantasy film based on a 1980 children's book of the same name. The story revolves around a boy who receives a cupboard as a gift on his ninth birthday. He later discovers that putting toy figures in the cupboard after locking and unlocking brings the toys to life. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's start off by taking a look at the magical key. At first glance at the key, you might be thinking to yourself, that looks really cheaply made, and you would be right with your assumption. The key is made of a flimsy plastic that honestly would probably snap if you try to break it. Let me remind you this was 99 cents originally. Although select copies of the film on VHS included the key and the Native American Little Bear, which we will take a look at later in the video. The sculpt of the key is quite movie accurate, despite its cheap feel. It is molded in a gold color plastic. The first figure up is Tommy the Medic. In the film, Tommy the Medic is a World War I medic that was brought to life to treat Little Bear and Cowboy Boons' wounds. Tommy is in a standing at attention pose. The majority of his outfit is solid green to represent an army uniform. Taking a closer look at Tommy, he is wearing a helmet on his head. The sculpting of his face is pretty plain. The only other paint on his face, besides the paint for the skin tone, are two black dots for his eyes and black lines for his eyebrows. While there aren't a lot of different paint apps on this figure, at least the ones that are present are actually clean. His belt and shoes are painted black. There are no pickles on the bottoms of his feet. Here is a look at the back side of the figure. His backpack that contains medical supplies is sculpted, but it's the same color green as the rest of the uniform. Although this figure is very simplistic as far as his paint goes, at least the sculpting somewhat makes up for that. Next up is Boons' horse. The horse in my opinion turned out the best of all the figures. It's sculpted with the best details as well. The horse is molded in a brown plastic. The only extra paint detail added is on the tail, mane, hooves, and three white patches. While not painted, the saddle is nicely sculpted. The hair of the mane is very well done also. It's as if it is blowing in the wind. The horse is in a bucking pose, which gives it some character. Even the hair coat on the body have lines sculpted throughout it. The bottom of the tail is flat, which when standing gives the figure extra stability. And here we have the owner of that horse, Cowboy Boone. Boone is posed in a yeehaw pose with him holding onto his hat. Unlike Tommy the Medic's expressionless face, Boone here has a big smile on his. The minimal paint on Tommy's face carries over to Boone though. You have black hair and eyebrows, and two black dots for eyes. Unfortunately, the paint of the nose on my figure has rubbed off. Two colors make up Boone's entire outfit, those being an orangish brown for the hat, shirt and pants, or chaps I should say, and black for the gloves, bandana, vest, and gun holster. Boons' legs are in a very bow-legged pose. I will show you the reasoning for this momentarily. As with the medic, Boone does not have peg holes on the bottoms of his feet. Here is a look at the backside. The reason Boone is bow-legged is because this allows him to ride on his horse. Finally, we have come to the title character Little Bear. Little Bear is an English-speaking 18th century Iroquois who was fighting in the French and Indian War on the side of the British. While the sculpt and paint are still minimalistic compared to that of the other two human figures, I think this figure turned out the best of the three. I do like the sculpting on the face. Little Bear has a darker paint for his skin tone due to being Native American. 
He is not wearing a shirt or any other articles of clothing on his upper half. Worn around his neck like a necklace is his knife. The rope and handle of the knife are black, while the sheath is yellow. The rest of his clothing besides a black strap going around his waist is yellow. I like the attention of detail, as they have sculpted wrinkles and folds in the clothing. What I find odd, though, is the bottoms of the feet weren't painted. I just find that weird why they would leave them flesh tone. Here's a look at the backside of Little Bear. You can see his little satchel that's connected to the strap across his shoulder. And finally, here's a look at his hair. I like the sculpting of it and how it turned out. So that is my review of the ending in the covered mail away figures. Once again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button and leave me a comment. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.